What do you think? I slept all night last night. Let's see how good it was, Rebecca. Ignoring. She's got me my morning ritual. Electrolytes of magnesium and potassium salt. I have to take a banana with my turmeric and whatever else that is. And apple cider vinegar. This is undoubtedly our biggest week this year, career wise, like content creation wise, like abundance plus wise. Joel Salatin will be here tomorrow, but we film, we start filming today for our TV show, Rooted. We didn't have to cancel. And I'm walking, decent. Now, yesterday, I crashed big time. Well, not big time. No. But I started crashing about 3.30. And then after dinner. And then after dry. dinner, it was big time. My hand was hurting like crazy. But I also wonder if it was the Castro pack. Yeah. At the position you were in. It could have been. Same position for an hour. Combo with Castro pack. And the heat. You know, the internet, Mr. Google Pants says three months to 12 months. But Rebecca and I are not accepting that. Lily's yeah. birthday, right? And Before, I don't want, like, no, I'm like mid-August. And I'll be like walking normal. Sure, I might have some residual in my hand. I'll take that, but I'm gonna be walking and doing chores and doing normal. The film crew is here. I'm super excited. Uh oh, did I have crappy sleep? Yes. I took Again, ibuprofen you're still not twice. Deep sleep. I don't understand. Even with the ibuprofen. Well, the ibuprofen made it possible to go to sleep in that pain. The first. Shots they need for me for this rooted is me driving the tractor. I'm not exactly sure what that has to do with. Well, this show is going to be about the importance of the mentee, mentor mentee relationship, hence why Joel Salatin's coming. The importance of intergenerational relationships. But Ben has something in mind that will definitely be beautiful with the Kubota and it'll make 100% sense. So I just trust him. <laughs> so that's lived like a rock, which I did sleep pretty good. We have a serious film crew this time. Not that we don't every time, but five in the film crew this time. That's how important this shoot is. That's Everett. Haven't seen him in six years. He's getting sounds of the chickens. How's it going so far? It's going good. Doing uh, chores. And uh, yeah. What do you need me to do? Track your time? Yeah, that'd be cool. Just wrapped up the tractor shoot. Yeah, he just wants some cool shots. It's what you call B-roll. Cool farm shots to go over while uh, Joel and I are talking, or Joel's talking, or I'm talking. That was an easy job. Getting down. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a different story. Especially after sitting. I get all tight, sore. This is another reason why the film crew had to come. Look at this. We are in peak. Is that just not absolutely beautiful? Next month, we will not be in peak. I'm also having Ben get some shots of the crippledness, the pain, Rebecca helping me. We've only got two episodes after we filmed this one. And we were thinking about story arch. And I'm kind of thinking that ninth episode serves to reflect on the the struggles and the bad of the year, and maybe the tent and the finale is the good and the happiness and the wins. Look at this. This is why I've got to push through. Just so proud of that. I watched the Garth Brooks documentary on Netflix, and he would do this thing. Well, I can't do it because I'm holding my camera, but he would say, he says, in every blessing is a curse, and in every curse is a blessing. Mm, that's so good so good and it's so true so this is a curse but there's a blessing in it somewhere are you gonna milk no okay i don't think my hands have the strength good morning guys they're staying weaned they're staying on their side of the fence ben's down there filming with no jonah yeah jonah how you doing this morning phyllis how's your calf he's doing so good Oh. oh my goodness. Oh. oh no. That's a good shot there. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna milk 
I'm able to milk a little bit. Although near, not nearly as fast as a rune. Back at it. Look at this yellow milk. This colostrum. This is definitely be in my healing program. <laughs> We're trying to punch a hole in this leather collar. There's the afterbirth from yesterday. The fly's already making quick work of it. I said yesterday, but I should have said Sunday. They're gonna get B-roll shots of Rebecca. They're gonna get B-roll shots of me. The interview after lunch and then my part's done. I'm just gonna sit here and keep this foot up. Next one, keep going around. Boy, the sun's bright today. Psych, dad joke. <laughs> awesome, see you soon. Bye. That was Joel Salton getting instructions. He's gonna be here, what? I, you know, I He'll be pretty early. I, it will be pretty, he says he's making good time. I have to say this, I have not given that was old school. Joel to our is house old school. He in a long for, time. He called for directions. I was like, Doesn't have is, a GPS. This is going to be an exercise of my brain. I mean, well, we used to give directions He's all the time. He's just got a flip phone. He, he can't just yeah. type it into a smartphone. He's like, well, I could take out the computer. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, gotcha. I, got, I can do this. You used this. to do that a long I time ago, this. all the time. I used to do it. And it started coming back to me. Yep. The old directions. I handed it right over. <laughs> he started asking me. I had it right over to Rebecca. <laughs> so that means the rabbits are coming as well. So I imagine that's the first thing we're gonna do. I'm glad he's coming early. Uh, we'll be, have time to receive those rabbits before supper. They're getting my set, set up. I'm about to do an interview. It's one o'clock, I'm still feeling good. I'm still feeling okay. No throbs. Joe will be here about four o'clock. We'll receive the rabbits. So hopefully my body will hold up till then. That's a wrap for my interview. Boy, we dig deep on these rooted shows. Gosh, we dig so deep. Folks who have seen us so far are so inspired. Guys, did you know we have six of these done? Like, that's more than a movie. I'm gonna get in the sauna. Got about maybe an hour before Joel gets here. Warm it up in there. If you guys wanna see what we've got, so far, and actually Rooted number six will be coming out Friday. Get in there, binge it, binge it, binge Rooted with your family. Sit down together and have a movie night on me. It's a seven day free trial right now at Abundance Plus, so check it out. Eh, yeah, still pretty swollen, see that? My body's been holding up pretty well though. Although I did crash yesterday at about 3.30, so hopefully that doesn't happen again today, right? As we're gonna go get our rabbits. One thing we're doing is working with the schedule, uh, not neglecting the self-care. Still getting the sauna, still taking all my meds, and still gotta be the number one priority, getting better. All right, I'm gonna cut the sauna a little short. Did get up a good sweat. Joel's gonna be here in like 10 minutes. We're talking like 3.30. Joel is here. Teddy's barking like crazy. So this is the rabbits, huh? This is the rabbits. One so, in each box. One in each box. So this is, they're marked. Okay. Gray doe, uh, orange white buck. Nice. And, uh, and black doe, and the date of birth is on each one of them. Nice. So you can, you know. We'll exactly put those how, boxes underneath so you know we'll remember. How, exactly how old they are. And they're ready to. They're, they're They're ready to get out. Yeah, they've been, they've been scratching. Hi, bunny. I imagine they're not handled. Um. Yeah, well, they're not handled a lot. Yeah. They're not handled a lot, no. Okay. Here, lady, you want to help him? Here, I'll help. Just get one, one doe and one buck, and something's wrong. Yeah. Then, but that's what Lily thought. Typically, what's wrong is not the buck; it's the doe. Yeah. Normally, if, uh, if you have okay. a, if, um, well, birthing, getting bred and birthing is way more. There's way more stuff going on than just breeding. Yes. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, it's there a more intricate. It's, it's a lot. I, I should ask you this about them. So. Do we need to breed them back right away? Or can no, we say, no, hey, I we only think, want... I don't think kinda, they've ever... I don't think they've ever been bred. But is I mean, there, once we get breeding, is oh, it like cows where it's like... Do you, you have to oh, 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 breed? Um, or can we give it some space? We normally breed... Just oh so, boy, Daniel's the guru on this. Um, 
let's see. They... I mean, they're going to breed like rabbits is what I'm getting at. <laughs> and we don't need all well, those you'd rabbits. Well, like you'd like to think that it's easy. Okay. Like to... Okay. But it's not. Okay. It's oh, not my. easy. And um, rabbits are actually... I mean, they're neat, but they, they have a lot of... Pro they're, they're, they're a little bit fragile. They're more fragile okay. than chickens. Okay. Oh, I'll tell you that. They're more fragile than chickens. I mean, I mean just as far as, as uh, respiratory disease, coccidiosis, okay. things like that. You think about it, rabbits in the wild, you know, you see one, you see another one, you see one up there. And so when you start having a rabbitry, okay. where you have them, you know, proximate and you're actually, it it's... It, it's a little bit it's pushing the system okay a little bit. yeah so, so get just, what we can take so 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 gener generally uh i think i think Teddy. daniel breeds Teddy. so they, they kindle and then at about uh four weeks he breeds no. which gives them about two weeks of rest after the bunnies are weaned at six weeks okay and then and then they're they're processed at 12 weeks okay the dough gets two complete weeks so what what you end up with is um is is about five litters a year you can space it out but if you give them like two months between they'll get fat and lazy okay and then you might have trouble breeding them when when the dough is dry you have to limit feed them okay because if you if you give them all they want to eat They'll get too fat. Yeah, this is you. They'll get too fat, and then their their ovaries won't work. They're they're uh, they're they're they won't breed back. Okay. So you got to keep them a little bit lean. You got it. Once that once they kindle and have babies, then you give them all they want because then she's lactating. Yeah. yeah and she she, she can't she can't overeat then. Yeah. One of the most important things, and of course this is all in the early chapters of the, of this new book, uh, you get this from Temple Grandin, is just how situationally aware animals are they're not like us they don't have appointment books calendars they don't have to take the kids to soccer they're not thinking about well you know um, um my mother-in-law's coming for dinner next week mm -hmm. i need to go to the store and get apples and you know, whatever i mean they don't have any of that stuff so they they are completely consumed with right now right right now so what we think well what's the difference between this, this hutch and that hutch to them, it's the difference between ten, uh, uh, North Carolina and Arizona. Mm -hmm. Joe, we've done the pig raider since you've been here. Man, oh man. And look at that. No smell. No smell. No smell. Is that something? It's something. Well, like and that's right here in my backyard. Yep. We're ready for your feedback on this as a place. This is your, this is your design from uh -huh. Polyface uh -huh. Designs. Yep. Everything. Yep. Part numbers and everything. Yep. It made it real easy to order it. Uh huh. That's wonderful. It looks. It Do you looks see any super. issues with it right here? Nope. I don't see any issues at all. Like not too close to the it's, end it's here. Sh it's shaded. It's, it's shaded. got some sunshine. It's got a lot of, got a lot of ventilation. Um, you know, rabbits need rabbits need about five times the air change of air per day than a chicken. Okay. Um, so this is good. Then. So this this is real good to have it have it this open. Okay. Should yeah. we put? Should we scrape the manure off the off the concrete, well, or should we manure, put down it's just some? Composted hay. But I mean that when the rabbits oh, poop. No. Teddy, you're gonna have to stop. Well, the the ideal is to uh, is to put a poultry net around, and put two chickens under. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's what. It, that's so. <laughs> but but uh, that but was I the dream. So you see, Look this how is he's the way you pick them up. So you pick them up. They've got it. They've got a pressure point right there. Really. So you pick them up, and they kind of go. They kind of go limp. Okay. Nice. All right. Lily, open it for me. Lily, open it. So not like a dog. Don't pick it up behind its neck. Mm -hmm. No, not behind its neck. If you don't keep decent records, you will you will be lost pretty quick. So. Get some zip ties. The yeah. first record is the date of birth. There. Yeah, date of birth is really critical. Want to get the door? See how see how they just stop? The yeah, they just something? totally go dead. There you go, bunny. Please. Look at this guy. Is that a boy? That's the boy. Yep, that's the buck. <laughs> so to carry on then breeding after two years, can there be any breeding here, or would we need to be introducing somebody? So these are not related at all. 
could offspring from her so, breed so offspring from he, her? He, he can breed a daughter. Okay. Um, but you wouldn't want to do it over and over. Okay. So as long as you don't breed brother and brother to sister. What about half brothers? Yeah, sister? half brothers okay. Fifty percent's okay. When can these guys start breeding? I think they normally breed at at twenty weeks, like okay. a chicken. Chicken starts to lay at twenty weeks. Yeah. Rabbit, you can breed at twenty weeks. And so these two does are you know are not are not very far away. And if I remember right, Daniel just put. Would he move the buck or the doe? No, he, you all you always move the buck to the doe. And so he would move the buck, the buck to the, to the doe. And doe. See yeah, if she's in heat. Yeah, and he'll jump and, on and her right they're, away. They're, they're in estrus like like twenty days out of twenty eight or something like that. I mean, it's <laughs> it's <laughs> he like rabbits. Yeah, so. it's, it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty serious. So it's pretty good chance. And and it only takes thirty seconds. Weeks. Only takes thirty seconds. So you <laughs> put them together. Yeah. Uh, there's there's not a lot of foreplay <laughs> here. He you falls know, off. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's quite it, dramatic. 20 it's, it's really dramatic. Yeah. And then I is mean, he over it? Is he over it like a bull? He's done or, yeah. is, or is he want back on? Nope. Nope. All right. Nope. So what about can the two ladies be together? They could be. Okay. They could be. Because you were talking about weaning first, the litter, putting. Yeah, and putting know, the dough in the babies. It. Yeah, but well, once they start having, you don't you don't want does together. Yeah, okay. they'll fight once they once they become does. Right now, they probably wouldn't fight, but as soon as they become become uh, pregnable, yeah, then they'll then they'll okay. start to but become saying... less. They'll be less compatible. That was fun to receive those rabbits. I'm hopeful for Lily. They're they're doing an interview with Rebecca now. It's 4:45. I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to get more pain in my hands. I think I'm actually going to try some ice. So I'm gonna close out this vlog because I need to get this footage to Dan before I, I use the, <laughs> lose the use of my hands to mess with the memory card and put it in the computer. But I feel like I made it further today than I did yesterday and we have a whole nother, tomorrow's even bigger. So, and then we'll pretty much be downhill after that.